morning, Deer Park High School, and welcome to the Deer Network. Today is December 7th, a day that will live in infamy. I'm Caitlin Salas. And I'm Oscar Trevino. That's right, Caitlin. On this day in 1941, Japan attacked the U.S. naval base in Pearl Harbor in Hawaii. More than 2,000 sailors died in the attack, and it marked America's entrance into World War II. Now, 75 years later, we remember those who fought and died for the sake of freedom. And now your weekly news. Finals are coming up next week and grades are due, so make sure you get your work turned in and to study hard. The final schedule is going to be done differently this year. Students will come to school with the full length of the normal day. There will be a study period in the morning and your tests will follow. If you are exempt from an elective class, you must still come to school and attend the study period. The Deer Park Public Library has a lot of exciting events and activities going on in the month of December. For anyone interested, they will be hosting Teen Time Today from 3.45 to 5.45 p.m., where you can hang out with friends, play board games and video games, and enjoy snacks. The library will host a movie matinee tomorrow and next Thursday, where they will show movies and provide snacks starting at 4 o'clock. Finally, December 27th through 29th, they will hold an archery camp from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. For more information, check out the city website. In our fast-paced world, we are seeing rapid investments in several technologies, most recently, virtual reality. What was once just a thing of science fiction, virtual reality is now widely available to consumers in a growing range of products. For more information on this and all things tech, here's Chris Ordondo and the return of the Tech Corner. Are you at risk when you download apps? Are you ready for the VR experience? Did you hear about the attack on the interwebs the other Friday? Hey guys, Chris here, and welcome back to the DP Tech Corner, bringing you the briefest and the latest tech news with new gear, new hosts, and new news. Why all the memes in the background, you ask? Well, because memes are from computers, and computers are tech. Now, let's begin. All right, first up, Sony has released their latest take on the virtual reality business with their new PlayStation VR. Sony's VR accessory to the PS4 had many gaming fans jumping in excitement. Not only does it look like something straight out of a sci-fi movie, but it's cheaper than the Oculus Rift and the HTC Vive, bringing a whole new affordable change to the way we play games. Games for the VR include Batman Arkham VR, Riggs, and Farpoint. The VR is supposed to make you feel as if you're actually somewhere in the game instead of sitting on your butt on the couch. On October 21st, hackers hacked DYN, the backbone of the interwebs, and brought down popular sites such as Twitter, Netflix, Reddit, CNN, and many others in Europe and the US. At least that's a pretty big deal. This was the biggest cyber attack of its kind in history. Now, to be safe in these kind of attacks, you, it is advised that you must know how your devices work and follow the device security recommendations. You know, that boring stuff that nobody cares about but it's really important. Change default passwords on your internet router and personal hotspots. Finally, update your freaking software so you can have the latest and security features. I mean, come on now. Now, moving on. App fraud comes in numerous forms, but at the end of the day, it's just it's just people wanting to see your cash and your private info, and when you don't expect it. App users may download an app against their will that's specifically designed to look like a base mobile app or a popular game, but it's actually an imposter to reel you in and mess you up. The only way you, the phone users, can fully shield yourself from these thieves is to use your phone as, well, a phone. No, nothing else. No chatting on that snap, no cat videos, no selfies, and apps Absolutely no memes. But if you must use your phone for these things and more, be careful, be careful to be sure that you don't sign up for any sites that are sketchy or shady, and be careful what you download. And you may want to check and see if what, if what you download is legal. Thank you all for tuning in to this week's Tech Corner. I'm Chris Redondo, and have a good one! And while you're waiting to open your presents this Christmas to see if any of your friends or family got you that virtual reality thingy, serve some cute and delicious homemade treats. The Deer Network's Jake Puckett, Oscar Trevino, and Josue Rodriguez took you took on the challenge to bring you some sweet and creative ideas for this upcoming holiday season. Welcome to the OJJ Show with Oscar, Jake, and Josue. Here we have some pretzels, nutter butters, whipped cream, big marshmallows, some good chocolate milk, red strawberries, wide icing, Brownies. You can start the Nutter Reindeer, the Nutter Butter Reindeer, by placing three dots of icing on it. Two cloths on one side and one single one on the other side. Then you place two brown M&Ms on one side to make them look like the eyes and one red one for the nose.
Then you're gonna add, oh, sorry, silly me. Then you put some icing on the side to make it look like hair so you can place the antlers on them. And that's the Nutter Butter Reindeer. Now for one of the cutest looking items on the list is Santa Nutter Butters. You're gonna make the hat with the red icing and complete it with the white icing. Also, you're gonna make the beard with the white icing. Now, you're gonna make two dots for the blue eyes and boom, you're done. Christmas dinners can always be so fun and having cute little treats for your guests like these can always be a conversation starter. Hopefully these treats help you for your Christmas dinner. To see more cute holiday treats ideas, you could view the full length video on our YouTube channel by searching The Deer Network. Also, if you aren't subscribed, what are you doing with your life? Good question. In sports, basketball season is underway. With district approaching, the boys basketball team is looking to build on their renewed success from last season and return to the playoffs. Noah Vaughn reports. As basketball season gets closer, we decided to ask the varsity coach and some players some questions on the upcoming season. Coach Chandler says that he believes that last year's team has had a great effect on showing what the possibilities are for Deer Park basketball. Last year's team showed what hard work and caring about your teammates can accomplish. We caught up with Blake Brower, a returning player, to tell us about his thoughts on being on the team. My name is Blake Brower and uh, I play guard for Deer Park basketball. Uh, the expectations for our team this year is good. We got a good group of guys and they all want to win and put in a lot of hard work like outside of practice and stuff like that. So I'm really looking forward to this year and uh, all the guys just really want to win, so that's our expectations this year, every day. Uh, the team's chemistry is really good. Uh, we always joke around a lot, and everybody can take jokes, just a, a lot of like playful jokes and stuff like that. But we all, uh, we're all really close. A lot of us are good friends outside of school, and, uh, and that really helps with bringing the team together and playing on the court. Another key player from last year's team, Dylan Bradshaw, told us his thoughts on offseason. Off seasons, a lot of workouts to get us stronger and faster for the season so we can be better. We asked Coach Chandler what he expects this year and he replied saying, this program has had some great teams and coaches throughout its history. There was a time when Deer Park basketball was always one of the top few basketball programs in the Houston area. We want to bring it back. The boys are off to a good start this year with the 10-3 record so far. They won last night with the game winning shot by Dylan Bradshaw just before the buzzer. 54 to 53 over Alvin. They begin their string of road games tomorrow before starting the district play in January. That's all the news we have for you this week. For Oscar Trevino and all of us here at the near at the Deer Network, I'm Caitlin Salas. Have a wonderful rest of the week and, and go, go Deer. deer.